Hello my beautiful drone flying friends. So today we're gonna to talk about what you should do if your drone propeller just won't stop spinning. It's a little bit more complicated than it sounds and it involves one of these. When you buy a drone, there is nothing more frustrating when it just isn't working as you expect it to work. And one common problem is that the drone propeller just doesn't stop spinning. Now, you've got kind of a couple of options. If you've built the drone yourself and you're comfortable using a soldering iron, uh, you can actually delve in and try to solve this yourself. In a lot of circumstances with DJI drones and other consumer drones like my uh, DJI Mavic Air here, uh, your best option is to send it back to where it came from because the last thing you wanna do is open this up and start soldering components. But if you're brave, there's no reason you can't. Um, so this video is based on an article on DroneFlyingPro.com. Go check that out, I'll put a link in the descriptions. And if you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe because I am gonna be your guide for everything drone related and I'm gonna share the tips and tricks to make it awesome for you and you can super enjoy your drone journey. All right then, let's get into the content. Now, if you have built your own drone, if you're comfortable with electronic circuits, for example, you've bought yourself a uh, ready to build kind of first person view drone and you're like, you know what? If I muck this up, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna buy myself a new circuit board or whatever it is, um, then go for it. I think I, I absolutely love taking things apart fixing it and even if it breaks a few days later like uh, like recently i did some um, earphones um, it doesn't matter you've learned a lot along the way and so i bought a uh, very inexpensive soldering iron i think it was the cheapest one i could find from aliexpress although you can buy similar ones uh, on amazon and other marketplaces and uh, this has soldered so many things and I love it. It soldered uh, some microphone cables, it soldered, I even did my uh, my old phone, I replaced the speaker in it with this, which was brilliant. Um, and recently I did some headphones, so I have done it all and these are awesome tools to have. Now, what you're looking for if your drone propeller doesn't stop spinning is a transistor. A transistor um, is essentially like an on and off kind of switch for an electronic component. And really, the only thing that can you can do is replace it. So what you've got to do is have a look at where the motor attaches to the board and you'll find that there is a small transistor. So um, each motor has a diode next to it. And so what I'd recommend you do is take a magnifying glass and have a look at the part number on top of that small diode and that transistor and you will be able to buy that exact same piece um, of electronic circuitry and then essentially it's a case of removing it and putting it back and putting in a new one um, and this is going to take a little bit of skill so what I recommend you do is you practice on some circuit boards that you've uh, found around the house remove some of the small transistors if you can go to a um, like a place that recycles electronics and just ask to take one of their circuit boards. That's what I've done in the past. And a lot of people are like, yeah, sure, because otherwise it would just go to waste, um, go to the recycling center. So yes, it is tricky, but it is possible. Um, so using a small bit of flux and a heat gun, you can remove the diode and then replacing the diode, you know, with the same component um, is, relatively simple but there are some like simple soldering things you need to practice and that's as simple as getting on youtube where you are right now and just how to solder is that is the thing i do all the time and uh, it helps a lot so uh, yeah simply by placing your soldering iron against the uh, metallic components until they heat up, adding a little bit of solder, that will lock it in place. And there's a load of things that can go wrong with a solder, for example, not heating it enough or not having enough solder to connect it. But uh, overall, yes, it's a, a learnable skill and it's completely reversible. So if you muck it up, you can take off the component, clean it up again with some flux and some heat and a heat gun and uh, start again. So yes, that is what I would do if I had the guts and I didn't mind about sort of mucking up some circuitry. Uh, 
Let's have a look at the second one. So the second thing is a bad solder. So it may be that as you inspect the small circuitry that uh, exists at, from, I guess, where the motor attaches to um, a board, you should have a look to see if the soldering is good. Now, in some sort of cheaper electronics that you can buy from overseas, um, the solder sometimes isn't great. And simply by adding a little bit of solder solder to that dry uh, solder or the one that, you know, it didn't quite connect properly with the circuit board, it can fix a load of problems. So um, have a look with a magnifying glass, get in and have a look at each of the small little metallic components. Is it shiny? And does it connect completely and evenly all the way around the, um, the arm or the little leg that sticks into the circuit board? If not, um, um, you can easily replace it or just add a little bit more solder, replace that. Uh, there's a little gun that you can use to remove solder. I like it because it's like a little sucky thing. Oh, very good. So you heat up the solder, you put that over, boom, and it sucks it up into there and it gets rid of it nicely. Um, and yes, it's as easy as that. I make it sound easy, but it can be a little bit tricky. Um, what if you've got a DJI drone though? DJI, you can't open that up, but there is a couple of little things you can do if you find your propellers are not stopping spinning. Okay, if you have a DJI drone, the one thing I recommend you do is you look at your inertial measurement unit calibration, so your IMU. Now go check out the article that this uh, video is based on because I have got tons of uh, links out, some videos as well, that will really help you kind of calibrate the DJI drone. But ultimately, if there is a propeller that just won't stop spinning, there isn't much you can do other than send that drone back, get in contact with uh, the support. And a lot of ma drone manufacturers, not just DJI, but Parrot and Autel, you know, their business model is to make your drone flying experience awesome and get you flying as quickly as possible. So you can get in contact with them. Don't hesitate to reach out to support. Why is my beard lopsided today? And uh, yeah, don't hesitate to reach out to support and um, they will help you out. Uh, another thing you can do is calibrate your electronic speed controller. Um, you can do that via the software uh, that you plug in to your drone if you're building your own drone. Um, and yes, it can be complicated to kind of work out exactly why your propeller isn't spinning, but follow these small steps and I think you will be able to at least identify the problem. And if you are comfortable with a soldering iron, you can get straight in there and uh, fix it yourself with no issues. So there we are. Those are all the steps that you should complete if your drone propeller is not stopping spinning. Uh, let me know in the comments what worked for you. Let me know what else you would do and have done to, to make it work. And uh, go check out the article that this video is based on because there is a load more information, super valuable, and I wanna share that with you. Okay, until next time, happy drone flying, and I shall see you in the next video.